أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم کرپشن <تصفيق> except only a few among them whom we delivered these nations when they were destroyed what was the main quality very few people remained on the right path and they were also not forbidding from the from something wrong so then you know the nation becomes liable to the final extermination the final punishment and but those people who go on forbidding a few they are saved anjayna minhum wa tabal ladina zalamu ma utrifu wa kanu mujrimin and these evil doers they always followed their luxuries utrifu fi what we had given them the luxuries of his life they were after them all the time wa kanu mujrimin and they were definitely guilty wa ma kana rabbuka li yuhlikal qura bi zulmin wa ahluha muslihun and your lord is not such that he would have destroyed these towns these big cities and civilizations and the people there of even if the people there of were muslihun righteous reformers wala usha rabbuka laj'ala an-nas ummatan wahida and if your lord had decreed so he could have made the all mankind one community all muslims the best muslims wala yazaluna mukhtalifin but they will continue to have differences and disagreements Now this is very important, you know. Every person feels why this, you know, disagreement, why these differences, why we are, you know, so much divided among ourselves, why these sects, why these schisms, etc., etc. So every good-natured, good-natured person abhors these things, doesn't like these things. But now one thing is very important: the philosophy is that when Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has given people a freedom of choice because he has created this world for you and the life here is actually a period of testing number 1 khalaq al maut wal hayat li yabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala number 2 testing necessitates freedom of choice there could be no testing if there is no freedom of choice and freedom of choice the inevitable result is difference of opinion so you so don't you know be so much grieved over that very important words are coming walau sha rabbuka la ja'alna an-nas ummatan wahidatan wala yazaluna mukhtalifin illa man rahim rabbuk wa lizalika khalaqahum allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created them on this pattern this is the basic theme of the philosophy of this creation this creation is for testing testing necessitates freedom of choice and the inevitable result you might be not like it but the inevitable result of freedom of choice is differences so this will continue you know there should be some limits you should try to limit your differences or you, as as we say we should agree to disagree and we should accommodate the difference of opinion these things are they are have to be kept under within certain limits not that we you know become enemies to each other we are quarreling with each other man digram to digri i am something else you are something else not to that type accommodate the difference of opinion illa mar rahim rabbuk except whom your lord you know shows mercy 
پچمت کلے مت رب کلام لا ان جہنم من الجنت والناس اجمعین اینڈ دی ورڈ اف یور لارڈ از گوئنگ ٹو بی فلفلڈ دیٹ آئی ول فل جہنم ود دی جنس اینڈ دی مین کائنڈ آل اف دیم سو اف دیر از نو ڈفرنس ان اوپینین اف ڈونٹ پیپل اور جنس ڈونٹ گو اسٹری تو ہو ول فل دی جہنم دین سو ایکچولی دس از دی اینڈ ریزلٹ سو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی سیڈ ان دی ویری بگننگ لا ملا ان جہنم کا جہنم من کا ومن تبع کا وی فائنڈ دیز ورڈز ان سورۃ بنی اسرائیل ناؤ دی فائنل کنکلوڈنگ دی مارکس ایز وی می کال کنکلوڈی آیات اف دس سورہ و کل نقص علیک من انباء الرسل ناؤ دس از دی ٹرم وچ آئی بین یوزنگ یو نو دس از دی پلیس فرام وچ دس ٹرم ٹرم ہیز بین ڈیرائیو کل نقص علیک من انباء الرسل آل دیز بگ نیوز اف دی میسنجرز اف اللہ وچ وی ار ریلیٹنگ ٹو یو man usabbi tu bihi fawadak with which we are strengthening your heart and of hearts of those who are with you so that they should come to know all messengers were persecuted all messengers were walked upon all messengers had to go messengers of allah had to undergo you know hardships but in the end all of the messengers were saved and delivered they were successful so these things you know are coming to you in these stories this these tales of the history waja ka fi hazihi al haq wa mu'izatu wa zikra lil mu'minin hazihi means these tales these qasas in these stories waja ka fi hazihi al haq in these to you have come the truth the total truth wa mu'izatu bi sarman wa zikra and a reminding for all those who believe وَقُلْ لِلَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ عَمَلُوا عَلَى مَكَانَتِكُمْ إِنَّا عَامِلُونَ And so to do, say to those who are not believing, who are rejecting you, تَمَلُوا عَلَى مَكَانَتِكُمْ You do whatever you can do. You strive your utmost. إِنَّا عَامِلُونَ We are also doing it and we shall strive our utmost. But the point to be noted here is, إِنِّي has now changed into إِنَّا We have been reading. Inni amil. Amalu ala makanatikum. Inni amil. You go on doing whatever you want to do at your own place to your utmost. Both meanings of this makanatikum. Inni amil. I am also doing it. But here it is from inni to inna. What does it mean? From an individual, now a community, a party, a group has emerged. This is actually the process of dawa. One individual starts. I am going to do this. This is my path. قل هذه سبيلي ادعو الى الله على بصيره انا ومن اتبعني now in due course of time if if he is not dejected maybe for some time nobody listens to him people are mocking at him you know people you know are making cutting jokes at him so on it may might go on for some time but he has to be perseverance he has to show perseverance be steadfast be firm continue with it then you know surely maybe slowly but gradually people will come gather around him and this inni will turn into inna and allama iqbal has said very beautifully gaye din ke tanha tha main anjuman mein yahan ab mere raazdaan aur bhi hain this is the course you know of the dawa wa in inna amilun wan tazru inna muntazirun and go wait you you also and we are also waiting وَلِلَّهِ غَيْبُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ And to Allah belongs all the unseen of the heaven and the earth. There is much unseen in the earth also. We don't know the whole of the earth. And what is inside the earth? We have some knowledge of until some depth. But what is further down? We don't know. So actually there is a lot of unseen in this world also. وَلِلَّهِ غَيْبُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَاللَّهِ وَإِلَيْهِ يَرْجُعُ الْأَمْرُ يُرْجَعُ الْأَمْرُ كُلُّهُ And to him will be returned all the matters for final decision. فَعْبُدْهُ So, worship him, love him, serve him, be a bondsman to him. وَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَيْهِ And have trust in him, have faith in him, have confidence in him. وَمَا رَبُّكَ بِغَافِلٍ أَمَّا تَعْمَلُونَ and your lord is not unaware of what they are doing with this we come to the end of suratul surah hud and now we have to start with surah yusuf 
اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الف لام را تلک آیات الكتاب المبین انا انزلناه قرآن عربی لعلکم تاقلون نحن نقص علیک احسن القصص بما اوحینا الیک هذا القرآن وَإِن كُنْتَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ لَمِنَ الْغَافِلِينَ صدق اللہ العظیم Now this surah Yusuf which comprises of 111 ayat divided into 13 sections, 12 sections. This surah al-Mubarakah is very peculiar in many respects. One aspect I told you that now these surahs which are following Makki surahs, they are 14 in number starting from Surah to Yunus ending with Surah to Mu'minun in the 18th part. These are 14 surahs. And 12 of them are in subgroups of 3 surahs each. Among every group there are 2 surahs which are like a pair. Very similar to each other, reciprocal to each other. All those things you know they exist. Those points of similarity also and reciprocity also. But one is peculiar which has no pair. So here we found Surah Yunus, Surah Hud, alayhi salatu wa salam. They were a pair, a very beautiful pair, a complete pair. Similarities, reciprocities, all present. But Surah to Yusuf is a peculiar Surah. It is unique in many respects. Number one, it is unique that whole of this Surah contains the story, or we may call it the biography of one prophet of Allah. Whole of it, quite a big, quite a sizable surah, 12 sections. But, you know, except a few ayat in the beginning and a few ayat in the end. Whole of the surah is devoted to the story of Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam. And that is the title of this surah, Surah Yusuf. Number two, there is only one example more in the whole of Quran, which is devoted exclusively to one messenger of Allah. No mention of anyone else in that. And that is Surah Taha. That is also included in this very group. Surah Taha will come after Surah Maryam. You know, this is also. In that, two-thirds of that Surah, nearly two-thirds, is, is, you know, occupied by the story of Hazrat Musa, alayhi salatu wasalam. Now, what is peculiar? During the lifetime of Hazrat Yusuf, Bani Israel entered Egypt. And at the time of Hazrat Musa, they came out from Egypt. So one full surah devoted to that incident, and one surah devoted to that incident of Exodus, as they call it. The book of Exodus is a very full book in the Old Testament. But the difference is, Yusuf alayhi salatu was a Nabi, not a messenger. You won't find in the whole surah, that type of thing, you believe me, you obey me, if you don't obey me, if you don't believe me, justice will, will come to you, you'll be exterminated, you know, you, nothing of this. Just like, you know, a saint, a very pious person, you know, a very, you know, so, so to say, Waliullah, a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the only difference being, I told you, the only difference between Nabi and Wali is that to Wali, revelations don't come. Nabi, to Nabi, revelations have been coming, that's all. Otherwise, their behavior is very similar to each other. They must, you know, all the all Allah, they have been making dawa to people so that they become good. Ya muruna bil maruf, yanhaun alil munkar, all these things they have to do. This is actually, absolutely natural, logical. But no special appointment. Fazhab ila firaun in namutawa. Now this is an appointment. Go to him. So it actually... That is now a Nabi when he is, a, he is appointed to a particular people, to a particular region, to a particular city. Now he becomes a Rasul. Now his, you know, behavior is absolutely different. You have to believe in me. You have, you have to obey me. Ani'budullah wa ati'oon. Wa ma'ar sallah bi rasulin illa le yutab iznillah. So the conduct of Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu was salam, Hazrat Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam is a very beautiful example of a person who was a Nabi only, not a Rasul. And you know the difference in their behavior, in their attitude, very remarkable. Third thing about this surah which must be mentioned in the beginning is that this surah was revealed 
to answer a question which was put to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam by the Quraysh of Makkah on the instigation of Yehud, the, the Jews of Medina. Ask him, what were the circumstances in which Bani Israel went to Egypt? They didn't belong to Egypt. Why did they go there? What's the history? What were the circumstances which led to their going to Egypt? So this, this question was put to the Prophet ﷺ. Now this whole surah was revealed, but in a very beautiful way, so that no, not only the question was answered, but a mirror was shown to the Quraysh at Makkah. What happened to Yusuf is going to happen to Muhammad ﷺ. You are plotting against him, the Yusbetuka or Yukhrijuka or Yaktuluka. Should we kill him? Should we imprison him? Should we expel him? This was the parley, you know, the consultation going on at Makkah. The same way the brothers of Yusuf, they were also, you know, discussing among themselves what to do, how to do away with this person, Yusuf and Esratu Wasala. You will ask Muhammad Sasan will stay in Ghar and Yusuf was thrown in a well. But from Ghar Muhammad went straight to Medina and he entered Medina as an unthroned king. In the same way, from this well, Yusuf was taken out and he entered Egypt and in course of time, he became the most powerful person in that country. And in the same way, that you know the brothers of Yusuf, had to stand before Yusuf in humiliation. One day will surely come when you, O Quraysh, will be standing before Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he will say to you the same words as Yusuf said to his brothers, La tasweeb alaykum yawm. Is abu fantum al-tulaqa. So history is repeating itself. So that is actually, these are, you know, then there are very different issues also which we shall discuss. But these basic points must be noted before we start the study of the text. <laughs> Alif Lam Ra, the third surah, consecutive surah, which is starting with these three letters, Alif Lam Ra. Surah to Yunus, Surah to Hud, before this, also began with these. And I pointed out to you, these words, these letters here are not counted as an ayah. Alif Lam Meem. In Surah Al-Baqarah, Alif Lam Meem, in Surah al Imran were, are counted in one ayah. Alif Lam Ra is not. But it is not based on any principle of logic, any principle of grammar, nothing of that sort. It is all taqifi. As the Prophet said, we take it. Tilka ayatul kitab al-mubeen. These are the ayat of a book which is very clear, manifest. Inna anzalna hu Qur'anan Arabiyan. We have sent it down as an Arabic Qur'an. Now, who? What is this pronoun? Objective pronoun. Objective mood of the pronoun. The real book is there. Filahim mahfuz. Kitabim maknoon. Fi ummul kitabi ladayna ala aliyun hakeem. Now, when we have sent down it to you, we have made it a book a Qur'an in Arabic language. You don't know what language is there. Allah's language, you know. Actually, we don't know. But this, had this Qur'an been revealed to any other nation, having another language, it would have been revealed in that language also. Tarat was given in Hebrew. In Jeel we don't know, absolutely don't know in which language it was revealed. Because we don't find any original text of Injil in Hebrew, nor in Aramaic, nor in Syriac. And these are the only three languages which could be the original language of, of Injil. But no copy, no text is, is to be found. The earliest copy of Injil is a Greek translation. Now, Injil could not have been sent down in Greek. Because Greek was not the the language of the area where Hazrat Masih lived. So it couldn't be that. It would have been Greek to them. <laughs> that we say, you know, idiomatically. It's all Greek for him. But it would have been Greek for them. So actually it was, it must have been sent either in Hebrew or in Syriac or the Aramaic language. But we don't have, they don't have, they don't claim to have any text in those original languages. 
but allah subhanahu wa taala sent down inna ja'alnahu we have made it quranan arabiyan the quran arabic quran la'allakum taqilun so that you may understand it who are they you the people of arabia who were the a first addresses of quran to him the advent to them the advent of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was al-bisatul khass exclusively special you know advent was for the people of arabia nahnu naqussu alayka asran al-qasas we narrate to you the best narrations bima awhayna ilayka hadha al-quran with that what we have sent down to you and we have revealed to you this this quran wa in kunta min qablihi la min al-ghafilin surely before this you are you are also absolutely unaware from among the unawares just as your nation didn't know you also didn't know is qala yusuf li abihi now who is yusuf please note here you must be knowing son of yaqub who was son of ishaq who was son of ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam so grandson of hazrat ibrahim alayhi salam grand grandson we should say is qala yusuf li abihi who is abi and he is yaqub alayhi salatu wassalam يا بت اني رايت احد عشر كوكبا والشمس والقمر رايتهم لي ساجدين او ماي فادر اي سو ان ماي دريم ان ماي فيجن ذا ليفن ستارز اند ذا سان اند ذا مون بروستريتنج بيفور مي قال يا ابن لا تخصص دنيا قال يا اخوتي هي سيد ذا فادر سيد او ماي سن ديير سن دونت ريليت ذس فيجن اوف يورز تو يور برادرز ذير ور 11 برادرز اوف يور two of them they were the youngest hazrat yusuf bin yamin and they were from the same mother the elder 10 you know they were from different mothers but they were one group and they were all you know united against these two because being the youngest they were more dear they were more focus of attention of the of father hazrat yaqub alayhi salatu wassalam so they had developed a jealousy so that was you know it because of that that enmity that jealousy wa iska qala ya abuna ya la taqsus ruya ka la ikhwati ka fa yakidu laka kada they will plot against you and devise against you a device a plot in the shaitan al insani adum mubin verily satan is for humans for mankind a very clear enemy wa kazalika yastabi ka rabbuka now he is giving the the what was the interpretation of this dream you will be chosen out of my sons you will be chosen as nabi ijtiba and istifa these are two very closely related words that is why we we use these two words about muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam ahmad mujtaba and both have very similar you know connotation to choose someone to select someone but there is a difference in choice and selection i but i can't go into detail so this is the bad is the five fucking prophets wa kadhalika yastabi ka rabbuka and this dream you know shows that you will be chosen by your lord by yuallimu ka min tabil al hadith and he will teach you the interpretations of all things a hadith you know you usually th- people think the visions and dreams no hadasa means anything which happens hadisa an accident whether it is an accident or an incident or a saying hadith of rasul hadith Allah fa bi ayyi hadith ba'dahu yu'minun this is hadith of Allah so all the sayings all the statements all the incidents all the accidents all the dreams all the visions they are all included in this word ahadith he will teach you the interpretation and to reach to the basic thing in every statement in every saying in every dream in every vision in every imagination etc etc wa yutimmu ni'matahu alayka wa ala ali yaqub and he will perfect his blessing on you and the progeny of yaqub kama atamha ala abawayk as he perfected it on your forefathers min qabl before ibrahim wa ishaq that is ibrahim and ishaq alayhi salatu wassalam and he didn't name himself out of humility it it was not good you know that he should have named himself also ibrahim wa isaq wa yaqub but he was himself speaking so he omitted his doom in rabbat alimul hakim verily your lord is all knowing all wise 
لقد کا نفی یوسف اب اخوت ہی آیات الصائلین ویری لی ان دس یو نو دس اسٹوری آف یوسف اینڈ ہز برادرس آر سائنس فار دوز ہو آر آسکنگ دے ول سی اے مرر اے مرر ول بی پریزنٹیڈ ٹو دیم بیکاز دی قریش آس دی کوشچن ایکچولی دوز ہو انسٹیگیٹڈ ور دی جیوس بٹ ٹو پروفیسر آسن کیم دی قریش نو ایکچولی بوتھ آف دیم یو نو دی قریش as well as the jews they had been given this mirror you can see your picture and you can see the picture of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the role the same role as of yusuf is now today of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the role that was of the brothers of yusuf is of these chieftains of quraish and the jews of madina is qalu la yusuf wa akhu ahab ila abina minna when they said verily yusuf وَأَخُوهُ أَحَبُّ إِلَىٰ أَبِينَا مِنَّا Yusuf and his brother are more dear to our father than us. وَنَحْنُ عُسْبَى Although we are a strong group. Now this word, you know, عُسْبَى. Strong group. We are a strong group. So actually, he should love us more. We can protect him. At any time of emergency, we can come to his help. So he should be, should show more affection towards us. But what we see that he loves these two younger youngsters who can't be of any help. Inna abana lafi dalali mubin. Verily, our father seems to be in a manifest error. Uqtulu Yusufa. Abitrahu abitrahu ho arzan yaklu lakum vaju abikum. Now either kill Yusuf or expel him into some other land, so that the attention of your father now becomes exclusively for you. The same thing. The Yusbetu ka, or Yaktulu ka, or Yukhrejo ka. Either they should imprison you, or you kill you, or expel you. The same thing. Uktulu Yusufa, abit rahu ho ardon yaklu lakum wajhu abikum, but akunu min baadhi qawman salihin. And after that, you become the righteous man, you know. So this is a usual thing which our nafs, you know, tells us. Well, you know, take this bitter pill. Then you you can repent. You can you know mend your ways. Afterwards, you become a good man. But at this time, you have to do it. Although it is very bad, it is something wicked, it is something haram, it is forbidden. But but I have to do it. So take this bitter pill at this time at least. But then later on, you become righteous and you you know you become the all gentle. Father, Kailu minhum la taktulu Yusufa. So said one who said from amongst them, "La, don't kill, don't kill. La taqtulu Yusuf, don't kill Yusuf. Wal kuhu fi qiyabat il jub. You just throw him in some well. Yal taqtulu baadu sayyara. He will be taken from there, taken out from there by some caravan travelers. In kuntum fa'ilin, if you are bent upon doing something, you know among them." was also some sinners you know advice he was the eldest and he said you know he was the most gentle among them uh, first of all don't kill and if you are bent upon doing it because now we are a group if you majority of you want to do something but i i can't resist but if you are bent upon doing something then only you throw him some well so that some caravan comes when they will draw water yusuf will come out and they will take him you know to some other land قالوا يا ابانا ما لك لا تامننا على يوسف وانا له لناصحون ذا سيد او اور فادر واتس وذ يو واتس ذا كوز ذات يو دونت ترست اس ريجاردنج يوسف عليه الصلاه والسلام وانا له لناصحون وي ار موست سنسير ويل ويشرز تو هيم يو ثينك وي ار انيميز تو هيم نو وي ار موست سنسير وي ار هيز ويل ويشرز بس يو دونت ترست اس ارسل معنا يرتع ويلعب send him tomorrow with us so that he should eat and play we are going out hunting he should also you know when you and one goes out can have some wild fruit you know from the from the jungle and so on so he play ارسل معنا غدا يرتع ويلعب وانا له لحافظون and we shall be protectors we promise we shall protect him 
قال اني لا يحزنني ان تذهبوا به واخاف ان ياكل اهل الذئب وانتم لا انه غافلون he said it very much pleased me maybe that you take him with you and then you become an aware of him heedless about him and some wolf comes and eats him and devours him as if he himself gave the hint you know what to do and what to say قالوا لا يقتل له الذئب ونحن عصبه ان عيد الله خاسرون they said oh father look to it we are a strong group 10 of us 11 now because benjamin is also to go with us now in our presence if a, if a wolf can come and eat him and devour him then we are in a loss we are nothing we are meaningless then falamma zahabu bihi when they went with him took him out wajmau that is mean ajmau kaidahum they gathered you know their will and decision and they agreed upon it an yajaluhu fi ghayabat al jub that he they should put him in that depths of that well wa uhayna ilay and we put it in his heart now wahi here you know it is not the wahi of nabuwa aw hayna ilay this just like the wahi to the even you know the hani uh, bee you know the also allah subhanahu wa taala so you hi rabbuka ila nah in the same way is that inspiration not revelation we inspired him la tunabbi annahum bi amrihim hadha oh yusuf don't fear a time will come you will tell them that they did this to you you will inform them what they are doing wa hum la yashurun and they are and they are knowing nothing what they are doing or they will not be absolutely knowing that you are yusuf this is a difference to know what will happen in the end that you will tell them what what you did with yusuf so actually in this there was a solace for yusuf you will not be killed you will not be wasted allah subhanahu wa taala strengthened his heart take heart we are with you a time will come when will you you will inform them what they are doing to you today wajau abahu mishai yabkun and they came to their father at the night fall weeping qalu ya abana inna zahabna nastabiq and they said oh our father we went away racing with each other wa tarakna yusuf inna mataina and we left yusuf with our goods our clothes and clothing etc etc goods faqa lahu zeb and the wolf ate him up they were him wa ma anta bi mu'minin na wa law kunna sadiqin that you are not going to believe us although we might be absolutely truthful but you will never believe it wa jaa'u ala qamise bi damin kazib and they brought on the shirt of yusuf alayhi salatu wassalam false blood qala bal sawwalat lakum anfusukum amra hazrat yaqub said your minds have entis you to invent this matter fa sabrun jamil so for me is the time to have patience and beautiful patience he could be you know hot he could be furious he could abuse them everything could be done but sabrun jamil beautiful fa sabrun jamil wallahu almustaanu ala ma tasifun you know as the command came to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wasbir ala ma yaquluna wahjurhum hajran jamila so you have patience on whatever they are saying you have to bear it and you should you know leave them but this leaving should not be in a in a very you know, it should be in a very beautiful way so that you can meet again fa sabrun jamil wallahu almustaan ala ma tasibun and only tasifun and only allah can be called for help on what you are describing waja sayyaratun and as the brother had said a caravan of travelers came fa arsalu aridahum they sent ahead their water drawer fadla dalwa and that person the water drawer he sent down his bucket qala ya busra hada gulam and he said oh congratulations good good tidings there we have found a youth hada gulam wa sarruhu bida and they hid him as a merchandise so now we can sell him we can make money from him so he they hid him 
واللہ علیم و مما یعملون ان اللہ باس اللہ دیو و بردے بردو ہی ان اللہ ہمسلو انتینڈڈ دیڈی شو بی دن بکاوز ہی ہیڈ تو بی ٹیکن تو ایجپٹ ہاو کود ہی گو بائی ہمسل تو ایجپٹ دی کیروان از واز ہیڈنگ ٹوڈز ایجپٹ و شراہو بے سمن ان بخص ان دراہم معدودہ ان دے سولڈ ہم فر ای پیلٹری پرائس پیلٹری پرائس ای فیو کاؤنٹیڈ درہمز وَكَانُوا فِيهِ مِنَ الزَّاهِدِينَ And they were very ascetic regarding the demanding of their price. Because they had not paid anything. It was just free for them. Had they paid some money, they would have included that, you know, cost and then added to, <laughs> to that cost their own profit. But here they found it without any price, so they accepted a very low price also. وَكَانُوا لَذِ اشْتَرَاهُ مِنْ مِسْرِ Now we come to Mesut. Now some of the Egyptologists, They have, you know, fixed the year of the entrance of Yusuf into Egypt as 1890 before Christ. And it seems to be like that because, you know, 2000 years or so, 2000 plus was the era of Hazrat Ibrahim al 2000 plus before Christ. And now because he is the great grandson of Ibrahim al wasalam And if he was 17 at this age, when he, when he was thrown in the well and he was taken out and then he was sold, that was the 17th year of his age. And it was the year 1890 before Christ. وَقَالَ لَذِ اشْتَرَاهُ مِنْ مِسْرِ Now they brought him to the market of the slaves in Egypt and said the person who bought him, who purchased him in Mesra, In Egypt, Lim Ratehi, to his wife, Akrami Maswa, make his lodgings goodly. Asa Yan Farna, maybe, that he gives us some benefit. We can sell him for a higher price. Aulat Takhidahu Alada. And it can also be possible that we adopt him as a son. They didn't have any son. Wa Kadalika Makkanna Ali Yusuf. And this is how we establish Yusuf in the land, fill Arb. Now you know it was a cradle of civilization. It was an, an empire. And this person, you know, he was Al-Aziz. So to say the chief executive officer. Maybe in our terminology the prime minister. Or the senior minister in the, uh, in the this system of, you know, in, uh, for example in French system. Senior chief minister. So he was, he was having a very big position. And now he was lodged in his house. And people were coming over there, high gentry, aristocrats coming, you know, and talking, and he was listening to them. So actually he was trained over there for all the political affairs, all the affairs of the of community, and all how, what are the problems, how they are set, how, how they are, you know, resolved, resolved, how can they be solved. So all this thing, because he was lodged in the house of the chief executive of Egypt. وَكَذَلَكَ مَكَّنَّا لِيُوسُفَ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلِنُعَلِّمَهُ مِنْ تَعْبِرِ الْحَادِيثِ Being there in that high society, at that house, because whenever some visitors would be coming to Al-Aziz of Misr, you know, he would call upon Yusuf, okay, bring this for him and for them, and you know, serve them, and so on. So he was always listening to what was happening. In that way he gained the capability of interpreting all things, you know. Something is appearing to be something else, and behind is something else. To know what is behind it, that is the tabilul ahadis. You go to the root, to the background. What is the real cause? What is the underlying cause? So that is actually tabilul ahadis. Lilwaliyamahum in tabilul ahadis. Wallahu alibun ala amrihi. And surely Allah is all powerful over His command and over His decisions. وَلَكِنْ نَقْسَنَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But most of the people don't know it. They think what we are doing is best. And it will happen as we are designing it and devising it to happen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may use your ill designs against a person in a way that it becomes beneficial for him. وَرَابَدَتْهُ الَّذِي هُوَ فِي بَيْتِهَا نَفْسِهِ And the woman in whose house he was lost. The wife of Al-Aziz. She sought to seduce him sexually. 
ولما بلغ اشده اتانا حكما وعلما وين هي ريچ هيز ميچورتي اباوت 18 اور 19 ايئرز اوف ايج ميچور اتانا حكما وعلما وي گيو هيم دي ججمنت اند دي نالج دي ويزدم اند دي نالج بكذلك نجد المحسنين ان ان ذس واي وي ريوارد دي بيپل هو دو گڈ اور هو ار بيست ان دير دين وراودت التي هو في بيتها نفسه and the woman in whom in whose house he was she seduced tried to seduce him sexually waghallaqat al abwab and she closed the doors wa qalat haytalak and said come on qala ma'az allah he said my refuge is with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i take refuge in allah innahu rabbi ahsan al maswa'a he is my lord and he has you know kept me here in the best of the ways my lodging in best way now there is a different opinion rabbi means either allah or the master because the master you know who has bought him this was also an idiom of that time that he is the rabb he is the lord this should be used by hazrat yusuf alaihi salam to his two companions of the prison and this word is used for your your king or be your master rabb so this rab you know is a very it has a very broad meaning rabbul mal the owner of the capital rabbul bait the owner of the house so actually the rab he was the master the aqa to whom he was a bondsman because he had bought him in the who hasan rabbi so i can't you know i can't do this against him you are his wife and he kept me in the best of the ways in the who la yaflu zalimun verily the evil doers can never prosper وَلَقَدْ هَمَّتْ بِهِ وَهَمَّ بِهَا And certainly she besought him. And he would also have besought her. لَوْ لَا رَا بُرْحَانَ رَبِّهِ Had he not seen the burhan of his Lord, of his Rabb. Now what is that burhan? Generally it is said that there was a miracle. That on the wall appeared the figure of Hazrat Yaqub alayhi salam. And... he forbade him don't hold to yourself but you know abdullah yusuf ali has uh, explained it in a very different way and i think it's a beautiful way i can't say that it is the only way but it is a beautiful way she was blind with passions and emotions but yusuf was spiritually he was seeing so actually this was the burhan he saw allah because spiritually he belonged he, belo- he believed in allah she only th- thought that nobody is seeing because i have already closed the doors and she was blind due to passions but you know yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam because he believed in allah who who always sees you are always in his sight so that was the burhan according to abdullah yusuf ali and allah better knows kazalika nasfa anhu su and it was so that we should turn away from him the evil and indecency and all shameful acts wal fahsha and all shameful acts innahu min ibadin al mukhlasin verily he was from among chosen bondsmen this is not mukhlasin some people have mistranslated it sincere mukhlis is something else mukhlas is something else mukhlis is ismul fa'il and mukhlas is ismul maf'ul and he was one of those whom we have chosen was tabaq al bab both of them raced towards the door and the yusuf tried to run away and she chased him wa qadda tamisahu min dubur in this chase you know she caught hold of the shirt definitely from the back side min dubur and it was torn fa al saya sayyidaha la al bab and it came to happen that they found the sayyid and the master you know the husband of that woman he was on the door now look to the intelligence of this woman qalat ma jaza man arada bi ahli kasuwan she said oh what should be the what should be the recompense of the one who who tried to have something bad and ill with your wife who tried to assault your wife illa yusdana except this that he should be imprisoned 
او عذاب الیم اور سم ادر پین فل ٹارمنٹ کالا ہی اور آبد اپنی انف سی یو سو سیٹ اٹ از شی ہو ٹرائی ٹو سیڈیوس می سیکچولی و شاہد شاہد من اہل ہا ناؤ دس از ویری امپورٹنٹ بوتھ آف دیم یو نو ٹو جسٹ پرسن دے اپیئر ٹو بی ویری جسٹ ناؤ اے پرسن فروم ہر فیملی ان اہل ہا من اہل ہا بلانگنگ ٹو ہر فیملی ہی گیو اے وٹنس ہی گیو اے ٹیسٹی منی ان کا نہ کمی سو قدا من قبول If his shirt is torn from the front, for sadaqat, then she is correct. She is telling the truth. وَهُوَ مِنِ الْقَاذِبِينَ And he is from among the liars. وَإِنْ كَانَ قَمِيسُ الْقُدَّ مِنْ دُبُرٍ And if his shirt has been torn from the back, for kazabat, then she is telling a lie. وَهُوَ مِنِ الصَّادِقِينَ And whatever he is saying is true. وَلَمَّا رَا قَمِيسُ الْقُدَّ مِنْ دُبُرٍ And when he saw that the shirt of Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam was torn from the back. Qala innahu min kaidikun. Immediately he said, oh, to his wife, oh, it is from your machinations, from your guile. Inna kaidakunna azim. Verily, the machinations and guiles, guiles of you women are very great. Yusuf arid an haza. Now he appealed to Yusuf. You just... Ignore it. Don't mention this to anybody. Just, you know, keep quiet about it. And just ignore it. Yusuf Arid al-Haza was tafreel zambike. And he said to his wife, and you should beg pardon of your sin, of your ill deed. And in nake kunte min al-khatein, verily, you were the evildoer, and you were the guilty. Waqala niswatun fil madinate. امرات العزیز ترابد الفتاہ عن نفسی Now this, you know, this news broke and reached that higher society because, you know, the aristocrats in that society, the begamat, you know, the wives, now they were talking to each other. قَالَتْ نِسْوَةٌ فِي الْمَدِينَةِ امرات العزیز ترابد الفتاہ عن نفسی What has happened to this wife of this chief minister, prime minister, chief executive officer? She wants to seduce her slave. قَدْ شَغَفَهَا حُبَّا Verily, he has incited in her intense, aroused in her intense love for him. قَدْ شَغَفَهَا حُبَّا إِنَّا لَرَّاهَا فِي ذَرَالِ مُبِينَ We see her. She has gone very, very away from and very manifestly in, you know, error. فَلَمَّا سَمِعَبْ لِمَكْرِهِنَّا And when she, Zalekha, the wife of that chief minister or Aziz of Misr, when she heard about Matre Hinna, their malicious talk, Arsalat Ilai Hinna, she sent for them all to a banquet. Wa'atat lahunna muttakan, and arranged a banquet for them. Wa'atat kulla wahidatim minhunna sikkinan, and gave to every one of them a knife to cut the fruits, etc., وَقَالَتْ اُخْرُجْ عَلَيْهِنَّ قَالَتْ اُخْرُجْ عَلَيْهِنَّ And he then commanded to Yusuf, Now come out before them. Maybe for service or something else. فَلَمَّا رَأَيْنَهُ When all of them saw him, أَكْبَرْنَهُ They exalted him very much. وَقَتَّعْنَ عَيْدِيَهُنَّ And they cut their hands. Now not by mistake, please note. قَتَّعْنَ قَطَّعَ يُقَطِّعُ تَقْتِعًا It is from Tafil. It can only be willfully doing it. Each one of them wanted to draw the attention of Yusuf a.s. to him. It's just possible that one might have cut by mistake. And because Hazrat Yusuf, you know, he turned to her and, you know, attending him, attending her. So every, every one of them, you know, now cut the, the fingers or head intentively, intentionally. قَطَّعَنَا يَدِيَهُ وَقُلْنَ هَاشَا لِلَّهِ And they cut their hands in amazement and exclaim, Allah blameless, هَاشَا لِلَّهِ مَا هَذَا بَشَرَا This is not a mortal human being. إِنْ هَذَا إِلَّا مَلَكٌ كَرِيمٌ He is none but a noble angel. قَالَتْ فَذَالِكُنَّ الَّذِي لُمْتُنَّ نِفِي Now she said, this is the one about whom you had been blaming me. وَلَقَدْ رَعَوَتْتُهُ عَنْ نَفْسِهِ 
and surely, indeed, I tried to seduce him, first awesome, but he held back. He held himself. He abstained. Was I lam yafal ma'amurahu? And if he is not going to do what I am asking him to do, la yus jananna, he will definitely be put in the prison. Wala yakunam min aswagreen. Or and he will become the degraded from the degraded ones. Now hearing all this conversation, Hazrat Yusuf is hearing it. Now he turns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in prayer. Qad Rabbi Sidinu Ahabu Ilay Ilayat Ma Yadruna Nilay. Oh Allah, oh my Lord, prison is more preferable to me than the way to which these women are calling me. Yadruna ni. Now here is again plural. Not only that wife of Al Aziz. But all these women, the society was corrupt. The higher society that was absolutely corrupt. What is happening to the royal society of Britain? Royal family of Britain. All these stories you know. All along with the confessions, clear confessions. On the media, throughout the world. So actually, she was not very much ashamed of what she did. She clearly said, yes, yes I did it. But he held back. He abstained. He didn't respond. But now, if he doesn't respond in future, I am bent upon it. And if he doesn't respond positively, he will be put in prison. Now what she said, Rabbi Sidinu Ahabbu ilayya mimma yad'oon ani ilay. Oh my Lord, prison is preferable to me than to what they are calling me. Wa illa tasrif alni kaidahunna. And if you don't turn away from me their machinations, asbuhinna, ilayhinna, it's just possible that I might incline towards them. Vakum minal jahileen, and then I will become from the ignorance. I'll be the loser. You know, after all, I'm a human being. And you're seeing, you know, to their machinations. They can go to the extent of cutting their hands so that I can have any attention towards them. So maybe if they continue one after the other, all these you know, means maybe I might slip. Asbu ilayhinna. Maybe I incline towards them. Fastajaba lahu rabbuhu. So his Lord accepted his prayer. Fasarafa anhu kaidahunna. And he turned away from him their machinations. Innahu huwa samiyur alim. Verily, he is all listening, all knowing. Summa badalahum min baadi ma raul ayat. And then it came to occur to them, it appeared to them to be advisable. Even after seeing all these signs, he had seen for himself, the chief minister, what had happened in his house. He knew it. He had himself said, you are guilty, to his wife. And he had said to Hazrat Yusuf, Ariz and Hazrat, now just ignore it. Let it go away. But now they thought, and this is actually... The public safety now. For the public safety, he must be put into the prison. Because, you know, we can't hold back our women. So it's better that he should be put in the prison. These are the laws, safety laws in so many countries. The Tada. Tada, you know, Tada. Tada in, in India. And there's going to be, and it's under, you know, legislation, legislative process, undergoing different stages. The Omnibus Anti-Terrorist Act. Anybody, any American... Uh, either a citizen or an alien, you know, if he's a citizen, he could be put to prison without proving any charge against him. And if he is an alien, he can be just turned out from the country without proving. Now, nothing was proved against him. Summa badala hum mimbade marabul ayat na yasjunan na hu hattahi. It is better, both advisable, to put him in the prison for some time to come. وَدَخَلَ مَاهُ السِّجْنَ فَتَيَانْ And with him entered the prison two youths. قَالَ أَحَدُهُمَا One of them said to him, إِنِّي أَرَانِي آثِرُ خَمْرَا I see in my vision myself pressing wine. وَقَالَ الْآخَرُ And the other one said, إِنِّي أَرَانِي أَحْمِلُ فَوْقَ رَاسِي خُبْزَا I see in my vision, in my dream, that I am carrying bread on my head 
تاخذ الطير منه and the birds are eating it from it نبهنا بتاويله tell us the interpretation of this this dream انا نراك من المحسنين we see you to be a very good character man you are you are a very good man you are you don't seem to be criminal like ourselves you know in the prison all others are criminals but you are a different type of person you seem to be a very gentle person knowledgeable person so actually if you can please tell us the interpretation قال لا ياتيكما طعام ترزقانه الا نبعتكما بتاويله قبل ان ياتيكما he said the food which comes to you which is given to you every day the ration in the prison now today when the, that food is given to you before that time i will tell you the interpretation of your dreams what does it mean he wanted to borrow some time to buy some time because now they had turned to him he wanted to preach to them the truth of the deen because after all he was son of a prophet hazrat yaqub alaihi salam he was fully grown he was 17 when he was taken away from his home so he knew his grandfather ibrahim great grandfather ibrahim and his grandfather ishaq and his father yaqub and what is the creed what they believe in it and what is the belief that he had so he wanted to preach it zalikuma mimma allamani rabbi and this is from what my lord has taught me he is not taking the credit for himself this is another thing you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taught me these things. He kept me there in the house of the chief minister. I was there in that society, topmost society. I had the occasions to learn things, to interpret the things. But all things were arranged for me by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nobody could have done it to me without his command. Zalikuma mimma alamani rabbi inni taraktum millat qawmin la yu'minuna billahi wa la wa hum bil akhirati hum kafirun. I have left the creed of those people who don't believe in allah and also they reject akhirah they don't believe in resurrection they don't believe in the hereafter wa tabatu millata abai ibrahim wa isaq wa yaqub and i have now consciously although he was a son or a grandson or a great grandson of the prophets but now when he comes of an age now this is actually a conscious rejuvenation or revitalization of faith conscious so he says what tabatu millat aba ibrahim wa isaq wa yaqub and i have followed i have decided to follow the creed of my forefathers my fathers ibrahim and isaq and yaqub ma kana lana nushrika billahi min shay it's not worthy of us it's not befitting for us that we should associate anything with allah zalika min fadlillah alayna this is the grace or bounty of allah to us he made us superior to every other creature on us means especially on ibrahim isaac yaqub and me but on the all of humanity because you know they were created as vastidans of allah on earth and all the angels were made to prostrate before adam alayhi salatu wassalam zale and we should now associate certain things you know to with allah subhanahu wa taala and try to and start worshiping them it's not befitting for us zalika bi fadlillah alayna wa ala an-nas and on all the people all the mankind walakin aksar an-nas la yashkurun but most of the people are not thankful ya sahib yasin o two of my companions in the prison arbabun mutafarriqun khairun min allah wahid alqahar You think for yourself. Are so many scattered gods better, or the one Allah, the one who is all powerful, who controls everything, who has power over everything? If you have to serve so many masters, is it easy? To serve one master is it's very easy. You know what are his priorities, what are his preferences. But you know if you have to serve two. maybe their preferences and priorities clash with each other so to whom to serve and whom to deny you will you be you will be in a fix so arbabun mutafarriqun khairun amillahi amillahul wahidul qahar 
ماں پراب دون امین دون ہی اللہ آسمان سم میں تم وہ ان تم وہ آپ آؤ تم آل دیز گوڈ ہوم یو آر ورشپنگ لیونگ الون اللہ لیونگ اوے اللہ ڈسائڈ اللہ دے آر ناٹ ایکسپٹ اونلی نیمز وچ یو ہیو نیم اینڈ کنکاکٹیڈ اینڈ انوینٹیڈ یو اینڈ یور فور فادرس ماں اللہ بہا من سلطان اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہیز ناٹ سینڈ ڈاؤن ریگارڈنگ اینی آف دوز اینی اتھارٹی ان الحکم الا لله سوورنٹی دی کمانڈ دی ابسولوٹ رائٹ اف اوبیڈینس از ٹو اللہ ان اللہ الون ان الحکم الا لله امر لا تعبد الا اياه اور ہی ہیز کمانڈڈ دیٹ یو ول ناٹ اوبے یو ول ناٹ ورشپ اینی بڈی ایکسپٹ می ذالک الدین القیم دس از دی اسٹریٹ دین دس از دی رائٹ سسٹم اف لائف ولا کن اکثر الناس لا يعلمون بٹ موسٹ اف دی پیپل نو ناٹ بارک اللہ لی و لکم فی القران العظیم و نفعنی و اياکم بالایات و ذکر الحکیم الله اکبر الله اکبر دی اسلامک ارگنائزیشن اف نارث امریکا ایونا is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info@tanzeem.us at or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us Together we can make a difference.